Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be drawing Stella from the Winx Club and if you've been on Instagram lately you'll know that the Winx Girls are super popular at the moment thanks to the new series that's out on Netflix. But I also just wanted to have a general chat with you guys, particularly about art block and some tips to manage it. I don't know about you, but art block seems pretty sporadic and it can hit when you least expect it. It's something that happens to almost everybody who creates on a frequent basis and it can really be the bane of your existence especially if there are deadlines to meet or you're taking on a big personal project. Every time you sit down to draw, nothing works out the way you expect it to and the resistance that you feel between you and a finished piece can be super overwhelming. So, what can we do to manage creative burnout? I think this can be split into two categories, with number one being management, so that's dealing with spikes of demotivation as and when it happens, and number two, prevention. How can you alter your lifestyle to avoid it happening in the first place? So first, let's talk about management. Tip number one, join current art challenges or create some fan art. You can take the thinking process out of creating by drawing a character that already exists. Draw this in your style challenges or drawing a character from your favorite series or movie can be the perfect opportunity to practice your art without having to do the difficult part of coming up with a composition or a character design. By doing this kind of art, you're also connecting yourself with people in the art community who are taking part in the same challenge or have similar interests and I consider that a win-win. Tip number two, create an inspiration board of artwork that you love. As obvious as this might sound, often looking at art that inspires us the most and is almost frustratingly good can light a spark that makes you want to try out a new style or improve your own artwork. I keep a folder of some of my favorite artwork from other artists on my computer to look back at when I need a little kick up the butt or a reminder of what I'm actually aiming for. This might also be my inner competitive streak manifesting itself, but it always makes me want to keep creating when I get a little envious of the skill of others. Tip number three, change up your scenery. If you have been sat at the same desk for six hours working from home or studying, chances are you're probably quite bored of sitting in the same place. Whether this is going to a cafe or even moving from your home office to the living room, it always helps me to make a warm drink and change up my scenery to get the creative juices flowing. Tip number four, go back to school. Have you thought about starting an art class or an online course that forces you to produce in a structured environment? Of course, this won't be for everyone, but if you're feeling a little stuck in general, you could perhaps learn something new that you can implement into your art to renew that excitement that you have for creating. Or even better, you can even hone down on your skill and maybe reduce the friction and target issues that arise when you're creating, whether that be with anatomy, color theory or materials. Maybe this will allow creating to come more easily to you and it could perhaps make you feel more confident in your abilities as well. Tip number five, step away from your work. This might sound counterproductive, but if you have tried absolutely everything and nothing is working, taking some time away from your art might not be a bad thing. Get some fresh air, cook some food, and relax until you get bored. Give yourself the opportunity to miss drawing. Chances are you're creatively exhausted and forcing it can sometimes just make things worse. So now that we've talked about tips for management, it's time to talk about prevention. So how you can alter your lifestyle to avoid it happening in the first place. Tip number six, set a routine. You don't always have to wait for inspiration to hit to start drawing. 
implement drawing as part of your daily routine and try to keep showing up wherever you can, even if it's only 30 minutes per day. Aim to get something down on paper no matter what it is. You could even start a timer for 5 minutes and give yourself permission to stop if you still don't like it. However, typically by the time the timer goes off it's likely that you'll already be in the flow and feel good enough to keep going. I guess the point is, just try less thinking and more doing. Tip number seven, keep your workspace clean and tidy. I think this works in a similar way to changing up your scenery. You want to declutter your environment to declutter and free up space in your mind. And finally, tip number eight, catch up on sleep and look after your body. When it comes to sleep, you can never get enough. And whether you like it or not, your general well-being will impact on your creativity. As much as it's probably annoying to hear, everything starts with the fundamentals. Are you getting enough sleep? Are you drinking enough water and eating the right foods? Are you overly stressed? Tackling these underlying issues and looking after your overall health will give you a much better starting point when you do actually show up to draw. And that's all for my tips on beating art block. Of course, I'm definitely not an expert and not all of these tips will work for everybody, but these are just some things that have helped me in the past and I think sharing is caring. I'm going to get out of the way now so that you can watch the rest of the drawing, but thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you found it helpful in any way, that's even better. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe as these things really do help me out. I hope you all have a lovely week and I'll see you next time. Bye!